No one likes to wait for renders to be finished. It takes a long time and especially for animations it can make the whole project impossible. Today I'll show you some quick tips to reduce render times in cycles. Before we start, let's get hardware out of the way since you probably already know this one. Better hardware equals to faster rendering, especially with graphics cards. If possible upgrade your computer, now let's begin. 1. Update Blender, that's it. Simple as that, newer versions are more optimized than older ones and have more features. The sooner you move away from 2.79 and earlier, the better I'll also be showing some tips that only work on the newer versions. Here's a pro tip, if you have Steam, you can download Blender there and it will update automatically. 2. Make sure you actually need cycles. Can you get away with the EMI render? Generally, if your scene is more stylized and less realistic, you'll be able to render an EMI and the difference in quality is usually pretty small. We'll have another video on how to optimize EV in a later date. For now, let's continue with Cycles tips. 3. Enable Intel's Open Engine Denoiser. Blender has an older denoiser that usually don't do as good of a job as Intel's one. To use it, click on the Compositing tab, then click on Use Nodes. Click on the View Layer Properties and enable denoising data. Move this to the side, Shift A to add a node and add a node called Denoise. Now plug it as shown. That's it. 4. Noise Threshold. This will automatically stop your render once the noise is at a certain point. By default it's set to 0.01 which is very low and will probably finish rendering all samples before it kicks in. Pump it up to 0.1 or even 0.2 and check the resulting quality. Alternatively you can reduce the samples. The lower the faster, but noiser, this is the classic way of adjusting samples. 5. Fast GI Approximation. This setting might make your scene darker, so experiment with it on and off. If you don't notice much of a difference, it will likely reduce your render times by a lot. 6. Light Paths. Adjusting this will determine how many times your light rays bounces around the scene. You can usually reduce the max from 12 to 4 or even 3 and still have the same results. This also might make your scene darker. If your scene doesn't have glass, turn off caustics. 7. Reduce Resolution. If you can get away with a smaller resolution, do it. I often do test renders at 720p and only do the final one at 1080p. Maybe use an AI upscaler to get it back to 1080p. 8. Reduce the modifiers. If you have a subdiv modifier, modifier at level 4, it is probably overkill and it might also be killing your render time. Reduce these polygon heavy modifiers. Enable this simplify option. Lock the textures to a smaller resolution and the subdiv to 2 or even 1. This will all depend on your scene. You also have viewport simplify in case your viewport is slow. These are all my tips for making your scene render faster. You can also use a render farm, but most of them are paid in some way. You don't need to do all of these in your scene. Experiment with a couple of combinations and see what works best for you and your specific scene. The easiest and fastest one to test is the noise threshold. If you have more tips, share it with us in the comments or in our Discord link down below. If these tips helped you, please leave a like and subscribe as that will make YouTube push this video to more people. You can find the character used in the scene and many other high quality 3D libraries in the description below. As always, this is Sam from 3D here and I'll see you next time. Bye.